So, Brit, I hear you using uh, Laggy Modem's catchphrase. Why are you like this? That's Laggy's favorite phrase. I can't believe you stole that from him. You should be ashamed. <laughs> All right, what mission is it gonna set me on as I load this save? Time, mate. You have to get over the Steel Springs right away. There's something big and scary menacing the locals. This one's a top priority, mate. Nah. <laughs> you see, there are certain missions in the game that you have to do in order to progress the story, and then there are missions you can skip if you want to. Basically, it's only it's a matter of you only need to do a certain number of missions in order to unlock the next um, story-relevant mission. But I do all of them anyway. I think there are only a, a couple I used to skip as a kid, but now I just do all of them. So I'm going to do all the missions before I go do this one that Mo that Mori just sent me on. Where I was a lad, we never had any of these new fandangled future eggs with your amoscopes and your returnerators and your bangerangs. But to answer your question, Brit, why am I like this? Why am I like this? I like to leave an impression. Let's see. Gotta find the spy. Nope. Hi, pumpkin. Shaz has told me all about you. I think my girl really likes you. Nope. Where is that spy? I know that first spy is somewhere around town. Around the main town. Hmm. Oh, hi Pops. Oh dear. Well, at least G Kino didn't phone it in. Was Bryce Dallas Howard Bryce Dallas Howard? What? Well, yeah, she does have really fetching green eyes. One she. Oh, never mind. Uh, people are listening. I shouldn't talk about this. But you're welcome to listen to me stream. Do we still have those ice cream sandwiches left? Thankfully, Britt was the only one to hear that, as far as I can tell. Britt has yet to become familiar with my Bryce Dallas Howard simping. One day she'll become she shall become acquainted with me watching those oh, Jurassic right. World movies just because Bryce Towers Howard is so cute. But I don't think they're as bad as people want to rant about. <laughs> I guess it's because I don't really have this precious attachment to the original Jurassic Park. But like, ah, they could do whatever they want with the sequels and all that. It's not that precious. It was never my baby like Jaws is. As far as Spielberg doing a... Uh... No, 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 I can't eat ice cream sandwich right now. I'm streaming. Put, no, put that back and just eat the ice cream sandwich. I can't do that while streaming. Okay, fine, I'll eat it. <laughs> I just don't want people to have to listen to me chewing. Oh, yes, but I will still elicit chewing noises. Nom, 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 nom. 
Chewy Chew Chew. I assure you that there is much chewing involved in the process. Alright. Where the heck is this spy? I'm looking all around town. Hello, Toy. It's gotta Hello, be one toy. of the construction workers, that's all I know. Hey, hey, Toy! Okay, is it one of you guys? Nope. How about one of you guys? Is it one of you guys? And yes, it's one of my favorite little touches. It really gives the game a certain uh, small town vibe. Like, you know, everyone in town knows who you are. You got both the NPCs that say hi to you, all the shopkeepers. Oh, is this is one? Nope, not one of these guys. I'm so confused. Which one is it? Oh, because I had to just start the mission over? <laughs> yeah, I probably had to reset it once I reloaded the save. That's probably what happened. Okay, now I can really start looking for the spy that's hiding among the construction workers. There he is! Die! Okay. And that will set off a side quest. Good work, mate. You caught the spy red-handed. We'll be taking this fellow in for questioning. Hopefully we'll get some inside info on what Cass has been up to. Could you open more of the packaging? Um. Don't do it too intimately now. Thank you. <laughs> What? Don't price balance it. Y yes, I know you're trying to do a pun, but it's it's not catching on. <laughs> it's not working. We need better material. You need to learn from me. No one's ever said price balance. For good reason. People haven't said that for good reason, because it ain't funny, McGee. Oh, you certainly were. You could not deny your intentions now. You could not backpedal. Your intentions were clear. Oh, I am playing the game. And I am also speaking to you, my beloved father, who nonetheless continues to shame me with his twitty wit. Despite the fact that my listeners can only hear what I'm saying, so they'll just have to assume that you are saying inferior things. But that's alright, just makes me look even better in comparison. It will make Brits even more impressed by me. Oh, Siren, you're so impressive! I'm getting goosebumps on my goosebumps! Hey, I, I'm very humble. I'm the most humble guy I know. I'm the most humble person of all time. Don't embarrass you. Sorry, ma'am. There was no hope for that the second you decided to fancy me. Alright, I better finish this ice cream sandwich before I start this mission because I cannot play this with one hand. <laughs> Here, you finish this. I can't... Uh, fine, I'll finish this. 
I can't pause while people are watching. It's a disgrace. It's called, uh... Emphasis on the disbelief more than the suspense. I will finish this action sandwich. Where's Laggy anyway? Or Richie? Come on, fellers. Let's have a look, see. Why finish this darn sandwich that father has forced upon me? In the ice cream and you drink it all up. You put the knife on the ice cream and you drink it all up. Alright, don't forget to close the hallway door behind you. the scratching post as the door stopper. You're not fat, you're just, uh... Yes. You are, uh... Small challenged. Minimally challenged, so let's put it that way. Oh darn, I guess Waggy's busy and Richie's doing duck related stuff. Oh, can't really. <laughs> if you were here though, you'd be pissed at me saying that. There you are. Struth, you actually turned up. Okay, the dynamite is too unstable to keep close by. So we need you to fly down Danger Gully, pick them up, then take them to the disposal area at Deadly Peak. Well, good luck finding a pilot. See ya. <laughs> Seriously, trust me. You don't want to hit anything out there. Good luck. No worries. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. <laughs> I think that's mainly the HD ports, uh, graphical touch-ups doing that. <laughs> Nonetheless, there is... Um, I really like what they did with Ty's model, model in the second game. It, I'm not really sure what they adjusted. I've never really... I've never played the first and second game within close proximity to compare the models, but Ty definitely looks more expressive in this. I'm not sure why. I really haven't looked closely in a while. Because it looks like the same character design, but it looks like they adjusted the model in some way. But I mean, of course he's constantly blushing if Shazza, if he's riding with Shazza in the Jeep. Yeah, I haven't really seen like a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, the first game's model with this one.
Now, this is one of those games where there are a lot of vehicle-based based, uh, segments, like the helicopter, and you're in a jeep, you, you you get around the world in a jeep. But, it's, oh yes, and also the, the battle bunyards. But I never minded most of them because I really like I really like how they're, it's all contextualized. It never feels intrusive. It all feels contextualized within the idea of being part of a rescue team, doing all these missions around the world, or at least you know within Australia, which might as well be the world. But I don't know. It never feels gimmicky or self-conscious. Like oh, we got to force this in because the players need variety. Like, I don't know, it feels natural within the context of the game's themes, for lack of a less pretentious way to put it. I, similar, similarly, I don't know why I always find that difficult to say, I feel similarly with the uh, slide 2 especially, the slide games in general, but especially the second one where there are vehicle sections, I like get in a tank or whatever, but it makes sense within the context of, well, this is what you have to do, this is what we have to do for the upcoming heist. It never feels intrusive because, you know, it makes sense within the context of what's going on. That we have to do this in order to perform the heist later. So it feels so weird that this mission is so easy now. I used to Great struggle with this one there, a lot as a kid. Now we know who to call next time we have another ridiculously dangerous job to do. Thanks. Uh, I think... Time, mate. You have to get over to Steel Springs right away. There's something big and scary menacing the locals. This one's a top priority, mate. Nah. Okay. Missions. Oh, okay. That is the only one. All right. All right, and then again, I'll go to Steel Springs. Thanks! I'll think. Oh, I forgot I could adjust the camera with the D-pad. I could either zoom out or zoom in. Now, from what I've gleamed of gaming conversations, I haven't really looked too closely at most of these kind of talks, but, uh... Let me see here. I admit I prefer the camera to be really close to a character. I know that can obstruct the view of the environment, but I don't know, it makes me feel more connected with the character I'm playing as, if that makes any sense. I've never been able to describe it in that, uh, one that another example that comes to mind is how the camera in Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, it's more zoomed in on Sora compared to the other games. Or it's a bit more zoomed out because people because uh, players complained that they would have trouble seeing where they were going in some angles. But I don't know, it makes things feel bigger in scale. Like when you're dealing with a big monster, the monster feels more threatening when you're zoomed in closer to Sora and the, the monster you're battling leaves over you. It's probably not the only example of this, but it's the one that comes to mind. So I don't know, I, I just feel better playing with the, the camera zoomed in. I'll zoom in sometimes, depending on where I'm jumping, but that's about it. I mean, zoom out. Never mind, you get what I'm saying. I hope. Oh, it's not letting me go in there. It's not letting me go out here. <laughs> I can only go out here on the jeep. Come on, Jazza, help me out here. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known I'd find you here. You're always terrorizing somebody. A girl's gotta earn a living. 
When are you going to give it up? You know you can do better than Cass. You really think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. Yeah, but the money is good. <laughs> Alright, now I don't think I can do most of these bosses more than once. So yet again, I am tempted to just look around the environment. Or at least as far as I know. I mean, I used to assume all this time I could do the tutorial more than once, but I was wrong about that, so I don't know. But either way, I'm now looking like, whoa! This red sky! This, this red sky looks really cool! I love these textures. And the, oh, the meteors, or uh, the shooting stars going by? I never thought to look at this stuff, because, you know, this is during a boss! I'm pretty sure there's no air, there's no level with this kind of background. I know there's going to be a dinosaur area later in the game, but I don't remember if there's pterodactyls in the background. Might be unique to this fight. It's so glowing red, I dig it. Ooh, the lo the lava spouting. Hey, no fair. Oh no, his tail is spiky. Now the fight's gonna be difficult now. Really. I will tease this game for being easy here and there, but you know, it's for the kids. I can only be so mean to it. I'm not gonna really rag on a gonna rag on a game as a because it's not properly challenging to a 30 year old. It's not why I'm playing this, you know? I mean even with games that one does play for the challenge, even then pretty much any game gets easier the more you play it, so that kind of thrill only lasts so long. certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, Rat. You won this one. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Good work, Ty. You stopped Fluffy and Cass from terrorizing the kind folk of Steel Springs. That bird brain Cass will stop at nothing to hinder us. Oi! What should you call a bird brain, fur face? Uh, well, I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of great intelligence. A good sight there, Dennis. Now that that's out of the way, I've got some more jobs for you, mate. No worries! You're back. Did you get it? It wasn't easy, but here it is. It's smaller than I imagined. Mm, you have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, Professor Carlos. 
I got what you wanted. Now, can I see a demonstration of the machine? Mm, it is feasible. Activate the machine. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. What just happened? It appears that I still need one more component. Whatever you need, get it. I want the machine fully operational as soon as possible. And then I will have the power to rule not just Cassopolis, but the entire world. <laughs> Bruno's gotten himself into a pickle. He went climbing in Frillneck Forest, but got stuck. Now he needs a helping hand. Alright. I haven't really gotten that many boomerangs. I mean, just the flame rain and for rain. But I also need to get some bunny up licenses. 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 Easier for me to say. Oh yeah, I got plenty of opals. Let's see what I can buy. Okay, I'm gonna need a thermal bunny up soon. So I'll go get that license. See anything you like. Good boy, that one. Hi, Den. This is where I can use go whatever golden cogs I find to change the color of tie shorts. I've only gotten three so far. Oh, and also the color of uh, Shaz's Jeep. Since Brit is here, I'm gonna wait so I can afford to get uh, the wetsuit so I can turn Ty's shorts blue. But I also don't really like the, cam the camo one is what I always use once I get it. Bye bye. Oh well, I have gone 100% on this game. I ha I don't exactly have it memorized as to where all the goodies are, all the cogs and all that. Congratulations on a job well done, mate. Once we interrogate that spy, we might learn more about Cass's plans. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? Let's see. I should use the get that the saves me getting one for your birthday, son. <laughs> Bye, son. Now I did spend the money to get the Hello, frosty rains. So I'm still time. switching my babies. God, I have the fire.
Let's see. <laughs> yep, exactly. Ratchet and Clank is the one exception where I pretty much like to use everything. I like to mix it up every playthrough. I know certain situations are designed for certain weapons and gadgets, but I like to just mix and match. Like the Taunter. The Taunter's fun to play around with. Where's this? Where are these stoves plugged in? Yeah, this is just a little playground that's got some opals. Nothing else to see here. area that had the patchy boss fight. It also had a racetrack to do. They're just optional. You just, you just race if you want to get some opals, but I still want to do some races here and there. I'm not even sure if I need if, you, if that's required for 100% completion, really. I think it's just if you want to get old police. Not sure. I haven't seen if the game, you know, prevents 100% completion if you don't do the raises, because I always do them anyway. Turbo cards. track. Obviously, it's not the CTR track, but still, you, certainly bud. makes me wish Waggy was available. Judging by his status, I'm guessing he's playing Minecraft at the moment. I know there's a way to drift, but I can't remember what button it is to drift. Oh, this is degrading. I don't remember, I still don't remember how to properly race. despite not remember how to drift. Okay, I seem to be ahead of the others. I'm good. I guess the AI is not strict.
Okay, I'm not gonna spend, <laughs> spend like half an hour. We'll get the funny usernames again. I'm gonna move on, dang it. Moving right along. I mean, I am out I driving here, so it fits. Moving right along with the good times we can. With moving right along with the good times and good news. With good friends you can't lose. This could become a happy opportunity. Knocks one, so let's reach out and grab it. Together we'll nab it. Or hitchhike bus or yellow cap it. Move right along. Oh, oh, some fancy free. Getting there is how the fun come share it with me. Move right along. We want to share the world. We don't need to map, we don't need a map to get the show on the road. Move right along. Sly's, oh, Sly's shop is open already? Okay, this is where y you go to get the, your boomerang upgrades, but they're very expensive. They're worth it, but they're very expensive. Even though Sly is my brother, he still get charges a lot of opals. Scumbag. I don't know, Sly's a cool dude, I get it. He needs the money. Fine. I just got some great new rang upgrades in this week. Get a load of these. Okay, yeah, it doesn't let me start buying what, uh, boomerang upgrades until I get the originals from uh, my parents' shop. But for the weapon, for the boomerangs that I do have, I can get their upgrades, like the lava ring. But I'm not getting the crafty rain. That weapon is a joke. Handcrafted by Sheila's advanced preschool class from the finest repurposed Are you gonna wood buy remnants. Something or what? It has a hair trigger and it really packs a wallop. Yeah. No. No, it doesn't. Catch it, bro. Before I go, though, I did want to just catch this view. I'm glad the game isn't you know, huge to a point where I can just glide down to this mountain, uh, this mountain, climb up all those trees and all those rocks and the power lines. I'm glad the game isn't like that, but I still think about it when I just look up, look at everything. I just want to, you know, reach out and touch everything. But then the game, now I touch the screen or whatever. Oh, also, uh, the pattern, the, how do I put this? You see these lines uh, that you're seeing within this grass? They form uh, what will be enemies in the, in the game after this. Which hasn't got an HD port yet, but I don't care. This is the one I wanted an HD port of anyway, so I don't really care what they do with the third one. 
But still, within this game's context, this little tidbit, this little bit right here is cute. And there's SpongeBob's house. are so I'm just gonna be driving around see what I come across I think I go back to the beginning and then turn the other way now that it's opened up which is another lovely thing is that the whole map isn't opened up to you all at once. It just opens up a, be a piece at a time with each uh, story, beat, story beat. Makes it so it's not so overwhelming. You get just a bit more of the hub to unlock at a time instead of the whole thing being there and all being there all at once. This leads up to the canopies. It's a really lovely area. There he is. Boy, have I got some stories to tell. The things I've seen and the stuff I've done. It'd fill a book it would. Two even. Maybe three if you use big print. There was this time when this thing happened in this place I was at. Oh boy, was that ever an adventure. This person, I forgot their name, they had something they had to do something to. And had another thing that someone else had to do stuff with. <laughs> they sure were wild times. I like you, kid. Here, have these things I got from that person in my story. I don't know where Gooboo Steve gets that money, but... Never question the moolah. If it gives you the moolah, don't question a good thing. I'll have to link this uh, part of the stream to Richie later. I figured he would like this area if he was available. Right. Dang it! <laughs> oh, right. Alright, you don't take fall damage in this area. Because the ground is soft. Like Brit's legs.
had to make sure you were listening. <laughs> no, okay. It's okay. I was I it wasn't even that. I just I seek every opportunity to make, say things like that whenever possible. Get a good look around this cozy little spot. Oh, there's the ninja geckos. The last game. Also, they're more of a threat here than they were in the first game. Now, again, since they're fast, I'm not able to get a good look at them for you before they start attacking me. Did he have a ninja costume in any of the games? Okay. I see a cog. I don't know how to get there. What do I do? Dang it! That's close enough. Okay, is that enough? Yes, it is. It would be nice to have the lasso rank about now. Guess I should have saved that for, saved up for that. that up there, but where do I get to a good spot? There we go. Beautiful. If I had the lasso rain, I'd be able to reach that other 500 bag.
Jesus. Shouldn't have bought the frosty ram. I'm not gonna use that much. Nothing gets ice. I just want to burn things. No disrespect intended towards Winter Guardian Spyro. A lot of games do this, but it's still always appreciated when you've got a trail of opals to lead you. That way, if you fell and you're getting back up, you'll know which area you haven't gone through yet because there will still be opals there. Hey there, Bruno. What are you doing here? I'm trying to face my fears. You see, I suffer from hypsophobia. What? You're scared of hippies? No, scared of heights. <laughs> I figured that if I faced my fears, I could overcome them. So did it work? It did, until I looked down. Don't worry, mate. I'll help you down. Thanks, Ty. I think I'll work on my fear of heights at home. I'll start by using a stepladder. Foreman Norman's been on the blower with an unusual request, mate. The Wooly Wooly oil rig cook quit today and left him in the lurch without any food. Luckily, Dennis has volunteered to cook for him. Can you swing by his place and pick up their lunch? What? You scared of him, base? Do the lunch delivery that starts in the uh, starts in town, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, turn to Brewer Mudgy. I've been meaning to uh, acknowledge this for a while. Another really big uh, difference in quality from the first game is how there's a lot of. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? It's the sort of day that's just made for shopping. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, a big difference in quality from the first game is how the first game has a lot of needlessly huge areas that really do not warrant their size. It really makes a lot of, like a good third of the game a chore to navigate. Now, they're really, they're really cool, pleasant, lovely places to be in, but just purely in terms of the navigation, it can be a chore. Because, you know, it's really their first time making this kind of game, so they think, oh, well, obviously, bigger is cooler, right? You know, we can make huge levels. Isn't that great? It's like, well, no, no, it isn't. Dang it. What's that? Basically, there's a lot of fat, there's a lot of empty space within the levels and that you could really condense a lot of Taiwan's areas. Whereas this game, this has, this game has a lot of, uh, has a lot of smaller, really packed areas. So I, n I've never gotten lost in this game. G'day, Tommy. Which is to say, they learned their lesson. 
At least they learned the mini lessons from the first game. As you know, I'm running for Miss Baramudgee again this year. I won last year, so here's to two in a row. Good day, son. Let me know if you need a hand. Okay. That's a ripper of a ring. Yes. Son. You won't regret buying that one, son. Bye, son. Okay. I said I would merely stick with my flame rain, but. Mega Rain is pretty snazzy because it aims. There's nothing to aim at right now, but still. I came here in the first place. Gotta go get uh, lunch from Dennis. Hello, Toy. Let's check on me, this guy. Remember to stop, look, listen, and smell before you cross the road. Hello, Toy. Cop shop. Hello yeah, there, the places Tom. have. Hello, Ty. Yeah, I've never really uh, looked at the signs on all these shops. Rings. It's a cute logo. <laughs> I never looked at this. That, that's a cute logo with the the boomerang representing the A. It's cute stuff. It's cute stuff. Even if I question, like, does anyone else buy rings besides Ty? I don't see one else using rings. <laughs> yeah, this... Oh, so much about this game is really, to me, what people love about Spyro 2 and 3 is that just... Hey there, Just a Ty. really strong sense of community. Just all these little things that really make the game feel alive. Just make this feel like a real community for people that live here. Even with, you know, most of the people that live here being doofuses, you know, give shit motivation, want to help them out, you know? They feel as real as they could be. It just makes being in this world an inherent pleasure. It's like, this house right here, there is no reason for this house to be here. But, I love that this house is here. I want to know more. I want to know about this house. Look at that. This house looks so cozy. And why is there this duck thing? This duck went now. I don't know why it's here, but I love it. I want to know about the people that live here, even though I'll never know. But, you know, the plants right here, hanging above. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's not so uh, elaborated on that I could go into this house. I don't, I don't need to be able to go into that house, but I like thinking about it. I, go, I like thinking about who lives here. What could be? What's inside the house? What does the inside of this house look like? Of 
course, there are still, you know, gamey things, like why is the game's currency still just lying around? But, you know, that's as gamey as the game gets. The game still goes through a lot to really make the world feel, you know, believable. And just charming in every possible way. Hello, Ty. Alright, I'm gonna look at the sign. Okay, Madame Mapoki doesn't have a sign. She just lives in a trailer. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> I keep, every time I come back here, I just won't keep running around this town doing nothing but just running around. I just love being in this town. I, I just love it. I love this town. I really could just walk around forever, figuratively and hypothetically speaking. Good day, young toy. Okay, that's enough. Back to Dennis. They're, be they're waiting for their lunch. Oh, Ty! You're just in time! I've ripped up a smashing gourmet meal for the workers. None of your boring old meat pies for my men. It's tofu cheese souffle made on soy milk and quail eggs with a dash of ginger. Sounds, uh, tantalizing. Would you like to try some? Uh, no thanks. I've, uh, already eaten. Okay, let's get at all. Greetings, Thai unit. Okay, I don't know where the beach is. I hope it's nothing. I hope the route there isn't complicated. Because I don't remember. I'm just gonna wing it, baby. But if I recall correctly, the, the time is really generous. To where you can't afford to get lost for a while. If you don't remember how to get there. But still, it feels tense, and that counts for a lot. Because I don't know how to get to the beach! Okay, here I will zoom out a bit. Hmm. There we go. Okay, I was trying to figure... There we go. That's how I get the map out. Alright, we are close to the beach. Nice. Alright. Here I was panicking. For nothing. Wow, the time saving watching they really give you a lot of time to be lost if you need to be if you need it. Tight you just in time. The boys are ready to knock off for lunch any minute now. They've been hanging out for their meat pies with mushy peas. Here you go, mate! Crikey! This smells like an explosion in a manure factory. That'd be the parmesan cheese. Well, they're as hungry as half-starved emus, so here's hoping they won't notice. The Pippi Beach Nippers are having a surf carnival today, Ty, but they forgot their sunscreen. Rex and Elle have a supply of zinc cream ready to go. Would you be a top bloke and make sure the nippers get their sunscreen? Alright, now I get to hang out at the beach. But first, gonna go say hi to Gubu Steve over here. Ah, my fuzzy orange friend returns. I think I'm all out of Gubu juice. Not good. You don't think they want my Gubu juice, do you? I won't let them take it from me. No way. I'll hide it real good, just as soon as I find it. 
Uh, speaking of finding things, I found these. I know you like them, so they're all yours. Uh, that was you. Gonna go chill on the beach for a bit. Look at these sea turtles. Hey there. Let's see, and there's Patrick. Lots of Patrick's around here. Squid dudes. It's funny, I the first game has two beach levels, but I don't think either of them have this underwater life. I think all they have is sharks swimming around. I don't remember them having turtles and such. It's lovely. These coral reefs. Of course I gotta go back up for air. <laughs> for a bit. Oh! There's one of my boys now. It's okay. You have to get really close enough for them to attack you. There's a certain something on the very back here. If I could just remember where to look. I'm gonna keep swimming along the very back of this net till I find it. Oh, there he is! We gotta see there's a whale rat. Way, just way back here. And he says hello to you. Come on, don't look so bored, it's just me. Come on, wave, wave to me. Come on, Brit's here. I know you're gonna wave to me if I hang around long enough. There you go. <laughs> Figured you had a little bit of spirit. Tiger sh ah! <laughs> Excuse me! Tiger shark over here. Way bigger than the other dudes do. Wait, is that Crikey from the first game? It looks like him. 
He's the only one not attacking me. Yeah, I think it's Crikey for the first game. I never thought about that. It's like, oh, there's a tiger. Oh! Pff, whoops. <laughs> I was gonna get my hair. <laughs> whoops. It's fine. There's no limited life system, so I can drown as much as I want. <laughs> I was gonna get the cool tiger shark, okay? I wonder what these cages are for. Why would you want to trap down here in these tiny little cages? You've heard of going hungry because you just forget to eat? How about drowning just because you forget to breathe? some more pools at the shore before I move on to the next mission. But there will be a reason to come back to this beach later, so no worries. Ah, Mega Rain. Mega Rain's my be other best bud. It's open already. Yes, it is. You again. So you're ready to race carts? See ya, bud. Shortcut. Yep, that immediately puts me in first because the AI doesn't take shortcuts. Nice. Oh, 
Oh no! no. I fell. <laughs> Curses. See ya, possum. Shut up, Shazza. You betrayed me. Careful, possum. You be careful, bitch. Yep, I lost. <laughs> I get an outhouse instead of a trophy. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's better than a trophy. I can I can actually use an outhouse. Can't use a trophy. Or at least you again. not in the same way. So you ready to See you, bud. I'll try one more time. Three times. This is preposterous. Gangway. Ah. Stupid babble. Out of the way. Ozzy, Ozzy, Moving on. Let's see what's in here. If I remember correctly, I think there's just a combat arena in here. Yep. Hello, Ty. I've programmed in some new combat sequences for you. This should keep you on your toes. Bonds can't do anything. You guys stink. 
keep me on my toes. You don't know anything about my toes, Julius. doing that again. I was just checking to see if you had anything else to say. <laughs> now I'm moving on. <laughs> I haven't really looked around this little temple though. And yes, there will be a, a full temple area later. And yes, it's one of my favorite bits. But... And it's I'm I'm very predictable. <laughs> Severin, are you telling me this game has a temp a jungle temple later? It's got dinosaurs, it's got a little haunted house area that's within the hub. Aren't you saying it's got all those things? Yes, yes it does. It's a very severity game. It's rather frightening that way. you could make it, doll. Rex left for the surf carnival, but he forgot to take the zinc cream with him. Sometimes I reckon he'd forget his head if it wasn't attached to his shoulders. That's no good. Can you take it down to South Beach for me? But hurry, the first event starts soon. No worries. Alright, this, this is very easy. <laughs> Beach isn't far away at all. <laughs> they still give me plenty of time. I mean, fine by me. <laughs> if you want... Of all kinds of missions, I'm glad the timed missions are the easiest ones. So I could just run around and break these crates for a bit. just in time. You're a dead set legend, mate. I wouldn't let the kids out without their sunscreen. Ranger Ken and Duke are still trying to tag Crocs down Muddy Bottom Way. Pop on over and give them a hand, will you, mate? Let's see, did I... Yeah, I got the... That's the rain. Just making sure. Alright, what else is opened up? Let's see, the freeway mission... Okay, I think two of these missions are helicopter missions, and but one is a volcano area, and it freaking rules. It's got probably my favorite track in the game. It's not the best track in the game, rest assured, so you know, don't set your expectations high, but it's my favorite jam. I get, it's 
I've got the soundtrack on my library downloaded, but I, I end up pouring out the volcano music the most often. It's just, it jams, man, it jams! I shouldn't be saying that in advance, but I don't care! Oh, well, it's here, though. Okay, I think, yeah, this is for attacking the crocs. Alright, gonna take a drink. One moment. Ken, you're surrounded by all these opals. Why don't you take some yourself? I mean, I'm glad you don't, but still. Taking these crocs. Count me in. Good one, mate. We'll be using a boat and a chopper to round them up. I'll steer the boat toward the crocs. You use the chopper to pick them up and move them over the pontoon. Duke will drop them and I'll tag them. No worries. To state the obvious, yes, this music is amazing. <laughs> I couldn't, I just, I had to acknowledge it quickly just before moving on. Keep an eye on the fuel, 
sir. Oh, right. Yeah. Fuel. Yes, it is. On freaking guitars, baby. I mean, if you're gonna be capturing crocodiles with a helicopter and tagging them, there's no other music you can use. That's just the facts of life. It's funny, uh, Duke the Kiwi, he's not really an established character in the story or anything. He's just, you know, he's piloting the helicopters during the missions. And he'll show up for one cutscene at the end of the game. But until then, I was trying. At, when I was playing this as a kid, I was trying to figure out who's saying that. Who's saying that in that voice? Slippy little fellows, and oh, slippy little suckers, are they, sir? Like who's saying that? I, I I assumed aren't I driving the helicopter? Isn't that how this works? So I just, I wasn't paying attention to the guy that's in the helicopter. So, my apologies, Duke, for not realizing and appreciating your presence as a lad. Look how big this area goes. I'm holding the last one right now. I just want to look around for a bit. I don't think I've ever seen this fence before. I know it's just a fence. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just looking. Okay, where's the boat? <laughs> Still trapped inside Mount Boo, mate. Get over there and rescue him before something bad happens. Well, they're they're trapped in a volcano, so you know it's kind of too late for that. So, there, something before something bad happens. Well, they're in a volcano. What else do you want? Alright, I know I can also do a freeway mission, but I'm hoping to find a volcano mission first. That's one of my favorites. I just don't really remember where it is. So I'm just gonna go with whatever I come across. how you exit from the volcano area. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm right here. So where's the opposite end of this? So that's the exit, where's the entrance? Aha! 
right here. Beautiful. Oh, dearie me. It's just dreadful time. I've sponsored a team of scientists to explore Mount Boom. Something's gone wrong. And now they're trapped inside the volcano. I feel so responsible. I'm their patron, you know. You patronize them? Oh, no, no, <laughs> I just give them money. I'm frightfully worried. It's been ages since I've heard from them. You must go inside and make sure they're okay. Relax, Dennis. I'll see what I can do. Alright, whilst you prepare for your ears for a righteous bop, and you prepare your senses for a bodacious, bodacious bonanza, let's see, no opals to get around here. Oh Ty, those poor scientists are still <laughs> trapped inside Mount Boom. You must go in and rescue them, please. I never thought to talk to them more than once. I wonder if the other characters do that. No, oh, I just, you know, I talk to them once and then I go to the mission. I never thought to talk to them again. Oh, Ty, there's... Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Love this area. I've more than likely made that obnoxiously clear, but love this part. This is the part where I'm just really vibing. I just zin out. Transfer the thermal extreme bunyip across the lava using this air platform. Simply position the bunyip on the air platform and shoot the button to get it moving. Alright, should get the mega rain so I can aim better at the buttons. This thing I can swim in the lava. I know I lose opals by just throwing them into the lava, but it's more fun this way. Die! I lose out on I lose out on opals, but I don't care. It's fun. And sadistic. Get into the lava. There you go. Hmm. 
supposed to do. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, can I do anything with this This whole swing for now? There we go. Alright, where does this take me? That'll do me fine. Oh, I don't know if I could get back up this way. What? One survived. Preposterous. Just go ahead and get it out here. That's, that's the platforms to where I have to set it a certain way if I want to access an optional area. Ah, I remember. That took me a while to figure out. I was going for 100%. I don't know if I want to go for it again. I would have to look it up again. Siren, you could just figure it out. I don't want to use my head. <laughs> Get on that platform. Hopefully, it swings around. Come on, swing around, baby. Come on, baby, delicious. Come on, come back to me. Come to me. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, right, right. It stops once I land on it. Ah, uh, mistakes. Oh, 
place that opened up a little shortcut for me earlier. Press the L button to set them back to their default position. There we I was gonna land in the lava. <laughs> I'm trying to reach the lasso, the the hoops. Pardon me. That's not the way to do it. I'll just go this way. <laughs> I know there's a Bilby stuck over there, and I just gotta reach him somehow. Ah, dang it. I can't reach the lasso. Reach that? Ah, preposterous. Ah, I guess I can get it. I can't, I don't, I'm not gonna quite all the bilbies, but still, that guy's stuck over there. I can't just leave him. Fine. Alright, alright. I'll be a good fella. I'll be a good Samaritan. I'll at least figure out how to get this Bilby. Jump too early. There we go. We take the long way. Come on. I'm trying to get back on my bun yet. Nope. Okay. I'm dead. Ah, that's fine.
Alright, moving right along then. Let's go swimming in the lava. It's so freaking gnarly. funny when you go swimming in water you obviously have an air meter but when you're swimming in lava as the the bunny up you there is no air supply you can be here as long as you need it's funny how that works Yeah, that door I'm gonna have to open up with the, that little optional puzzle from earlier. There we go. This is where we need to be. Jump very high. I'm gonna have to find some. I'm gonna have to find some really low ground. So bad again. Oh, I have the high ground. get over there on foot. That opens the, the door to a yellow area. Oh, yellow. Uh, it's marked by yellow lights. I don't know what else to call it. Alright, I'll check back over there once I get these dudes. Plummet, please. You found us. Our lava pot's cooling crystals defrosted, stranding us here. No worries. You can have some of my cool. Thanks. We better get out and let Dennis know we're okay. He's probably worried himself silly by now. Ty, Woolly Woolly Oil Ring is under attack. The whole place is gonna blow unless you do something about it. This is top priority, Ty, so get cracking, mate. Alright, that's the next little story B, but I'm not doing that for a while. I'll save that for the next session. I'll call it a se I'll call it the end of this session in a little bit. I'm gonna just do some ex extra bit of exploring here.
天，叫叫叫，叫叫叫，叫叫叫，叫叫叫，叫叫叫，叫叫叫，叫叫叫。There we go. Okay, I gotta get to the door that had the yellow lights. Just gonna check. Let's see what I opened. See, that's the one with the red light. I haven't opened it yet. Yellow light. There we go. Steve's in here. Oh, try go the other way. I don't cross over the lava. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. The Google juice was drunk when I got here. Hey, it's you again. You little iron fairy dinosaur thingy. Guess what? They can look all they want, but they won't find me. No way. Uh uh. Say, you're not here just because you want stuff from me, are you? Well, I got news for you, pal. I ain't got anything to give. Nothing. Nada. Tip. Except for these. These are for you. So, there's a little fun fact about this guy, this Steve fellow that we've been meeting. That's the director of this game. That's the creator of Ty, character designer, and director of the series. That's him doing the voice. And also, it's his brother doing the music for all three games. Oops. There we go. I'm trying to get down there. <laughs> Swimming in this thing isn't as precise, but the game doesn't demand anything strict or precise from you, so it's not a problem. This can be a little tough to navigate more cramped spaces. Alright, is this it? Yep. Alright. No. <laughs> Where's the exit again? <laughs> so over here. Okay, how about this? Yeah, there we go. See, I'm smart. my standards. Man, I'm just swimming in old bulls to spend. I'm gonna exit out here, then I'm gonna go shopping, and then I'll call it a session. Oh, right, got exit. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Do some shopping, then I'll call it quits. Regret buying that one, son. That saved me getting one for your birthday, son. Buy some. All right, we got all the basic rains. Hello, Ty. Well, except the camera rain, but I'm not gonna take selfies. Welcome back, buddy. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. All right, Brit. Which recolor for? Ty shorts or Shaza's Jeep should I get with the golden cogs that I've got so far? to decide the fate of my aesthetic. Take a gander. There's got to be something you need. Take a gander. There's got to be something you need. I decide soon, Brad. Oh, I don't have enough for camo anyway. So you know what? If you're not gonna decide, I might get wetsuit for you. Take a gander. There's got to be something you need. Now I don't see anything from yes, so I'm gonna pick the wetsuit. Good boy, that one. I'll get the other keys. Oh, I'm well, not gonna buddy. need the lifter key for much later. And that's only for two missions. But should I Nah, Bye -bye. I can use that I can use the money to get one of the Sly's upgrades. Yes, I did. Now I can make Hello, these. Boy. I just transferred here from Gunna Gunna Hospital. I can't wait to help all the locals. Please. You're a doctor. You don't help people. You just take their money. G'day, Ty. I don't trust you. Never trust doctors. They're always mad. Mad, I tell you. <laughs> I love this little spot right here where there's a there's been a car like it. It's just sitting here out 
all this time and the construction workers are gonna like, I don't know what to do. What do we do? Someone grabs the car. What can we do? Die, help us. about metal crates did give a lot more than regular crates do so the smasher rain is certainly worth it remember to stop look listen and smell before you cross the road Munchies. <laughs> I've never seen this sign before. <laughs> Burra Munchies. That's cute. I've, I've never seen that before. I haven't looked at this. I mean, I'm guessing there's a restaurant in here, but I wish I could see it. I just need the sign for it. I want Burra Munchies. <laughs> That'll do me for tonight. Thank you for coming, Brett. Seems to seems the last it was much quieter tonight. Seems everyone was busy, but still really, uh, especially grateful that you show up as always. Um, I will be gone tomorrow night, but I'm off most of the day. Still, I will more than likely stream on Sunday, perhaps. Either way, I'll catch you later. Okay, gotta stop cutting opals. Okay, a few more opals. They just put opals everywhere. I just want to keep getting them. Okay, a few more opals. I hopefully will. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll keep that original save file will stay intact. All right. DTFN, ta-ta for now.